Hey, Dr. Josh Axe here, Dr. Natural Medicine and founder of DrAxe.com. Hey, in this video, I'll be talking about how to make black salve and a drawing salve to really help with things such as minor cuts and burns and scrapes, skin issues, moles, and also drawing out things like splinters. And this is an ancient remedy that's been used for thousands of years to help treat skin issues. Plus, I've got my own homemade recipe using essential oils, natural remedies, and a whole lot more. So here's some things to know. Black salve is an ointment used to heal skin inflammation, boils, insects, bites, and splinters, and also it's sometimes called black salve. Now this salve is a must for hikes and your first aid kit, and the homemade versions tend to be best, as almost everything is best when it's homemade yourself. Now, here's some a word of caution with black salve. Now there are some, uh, there are some things on the internet uh, where people are claiming that black salve, you know, uh, treats cancer or cures cancer. I want to say I'm not as, as as one person in that party, but I will say there are some compounds found in certain types of black salve or essential oils that may have anti-cancer benefits. So some things you need to know is again these tend to be very controversial. Some of these ointments they've never been proven in any clinical medical studies to fight or kill off cancer. And oftentimes, some of the things in here are misrepresented. Uh, and again, it really depends on the version you're buying. So again, some of the store-bought versions and some of the hype around them are probably overdone, but there's no doubt that some of these nutrients you're going to find and some of these uh, some of these remedies you're going to find in black salve can be very, very beneficial for a number of skin conditions. So here is the main drawing salve benefits. Number one, it pulls out impurities. Number two, it softens the skin to draw out foreign objects. It's highly antiseptic, so it can keep things from getting infected and helps create pus to push out poison objects in a wounded area. So if you ever had a splinter, it's like it's just not coming out. This is a great remedy to help draw out splinter, draw out toxins, again, if you get those in the area. So here are some common drawing salve ingredients. Number one, things like coconut oil or shea butter, sort of moistening and softening the area. Arnica oil. Now, arnica oil is one of my absolute favorites. This is an ancient remedy that has very powerful anti-inflammatory properties. So if you have an area of bruising as well, arnica oil gets rid of bruising very, very quickly along with another essential oil called helichrysum, which I'll talk about more in a minute. Number two is honey. Raw local honey or manuka honey has powerful antiseptic properties that keep wounds from getting infected. And I'll tell you a quick story. I had a friend of mine uh, come to me recently. He said, Josh, you're not going to believe what happened. He said, I got bit by a brown uh, recluse spider. And he said, and I started getting, I had this major infection in my leg and it started literally uh, I had a big um, open hole in my flesh. He said, I went in and put in Manuka honey essential oils, and he said, uh, literally, it, it healed. So listen, I'm not telling you if you have that issue that to skip going to your doctor to check it out to make sure it's treated properly, but Manuka oil, just go online, read up the benefits of Manuka honey and raw local honey for treating wounds. It really is incredible, maybe the most powerful thing on this list for treating wounds and infections. Now, calendula oil, this is amazing for scars. If you want to reduce overall scarring, this is incredible. I'll tell you, I had a big uh, open uh, open cut on my ankle. I started using a mixture of calendula oil along with helichrysum essential oil, vitamin E, and honey. And li literally, the um, just looking at how completely the scar healed, it's amazing. I had, uh, you know, looking at other people, probably healed about five times faster, and I'm serious when I say that, that much faster. So these things make a big difference. Now, aloe vera contains certain types of polysaccharides that uh, s support cellular communication. They really help repair damaged tissue. We know this is true with sunburns and regular burns. Aloe vera is very beneficial. can also be beneficial for different types of wounds there uh, and used as part of a drawing salve remedy as well. Now, activated charcoal is really unique. Activated charcoal has binding properties that are very, very powerful. Now, activated charcoal, I, I like... Uh, bentonite clay just as much as well, but either charcoal or clay, they'll both bind to things, pulling them out of areas. So this is a key ingredient. Really, the charcoal is what makes it black, 
when we're talking about a drawing salve, or it could be sort of a dark gray if you're using something like a bentonite clay. And then essential oils, again, helichrysum, one of my absolute favorites for healing, especially scar tissue. Other great oils for this can be lavender, frankincense, tea tree oil are some of the best for treating those wounds and infections. So here's an example of a homemade remedy. You can do uh, one teaspoon of honey, one teaspoon of vitamin E oil, two tablespoons of calendula oil, one tablespoon of arnica, tablespoon of, al of aloe vera, one teaspoon of activated charcoal, tablespoon of coconut oil or shea butter, some frankincense oil or helichrysum tea tree oil. Mix these together and keep them on the wound um, on a regular basis, two to three times a day. And it can help draw out splinters. It can help keep areas for getting infected. But again, again, if you have a serious infections, make sure you go and see a profession, a medical professional to make sure that what you're doing is working and that it doesn't spread, that the infection doesn't spread. So again, remember these amazing ingredients, especially I want to highlight some of my favorites, arnica oil, honey, calendula, aloe vera activated charcoal and essential oils like frankincense, tea tree oil, lavender, and helichrysum are powerful at treating scars, at treating wounds, and helping an area heal naturally. And so again, black salve can have a lot of benefits, but remember again, for issues like skin cancer, there are no proven medical studies, but some of these essential oils and uh, things in here may have some anti-cancer properties. You could look that up. Uh, just uh, simply online with medical research yourself. And hey, if you've enjoyed this live training video on Black Salve, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got a lot more videos coming out on how to use essential oils and herbs and food as natural forms of medicine. Guys, this has been Dr. Josh Axe talking about how to naturally make your own Black Salve. Hi, Dr. Axe here. I want to say thanks so much for checking out this YouTube video. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to get more great content on things like herbs, essential oils, natural remedies, and how to use food as medicine. Also, check out more of our content on my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.